Hello, Success Squad. What if you are tasked to find the specific values from your data using some other corresponding values? Say we have data containing employee IDs, names, departments, salaries, and a paper columns. Now you have to find the salary of employees using employee's name. How do you do that? I hope you are not tough on your fingers, eyes, and brain. You don't want to disrupt their normal healthy functionality by manually conquering this battlefield. Believe me, it's totally not worth. Then what the way out? Looks tricky. Nah, it's walk-in park. Excel's VLOOKUP function will save your day. Let's crack this nut. The VLOOKUP function stands for Vertical Lookup and allows you to search for a value in the first column of a table or range of cells provided in the formula and return a corresponding value from another column of your choice within the same row. VLOOKUP function has four arguments. First argument is lookup value. This is the value you want to search for in the first column of your table. Second argument is table array, the range of cells that contains the data you're searching through, as well as the value you want to retrieve. The lookup value must always be in the first column of this range, with the required value in any following columns. Third argument is cone index num, the column number, relative to the search range table array, that contains the value you want to return. Fourth argument is range lookup. This optional argument is set to false for exact matches or true for approximate matches. Now let's implement it and find the employee salary using employee names. First argument, the lookup value. Enter the employee name into cell I4. Dot second argument, the range of cells. Since the lookup or search values are in column E from E4 to E13, and required value, salary is in column G from G4 to G13. The range becomes E4 to G13. The third argument, column index, which is the salary column in a relative range, is the third column, so we put three. Fourth argument, set to false, because we need an exact match. It's ready. Tap enter. Awesome, it's working. Try entering other employee names, works perfectly. Anyway, that's all for today, folks. Until next time, keep those Excel skills fired up and ready to go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.